before we get started with the video today guys, I want to let you viewers out there know that only a small fraction of you guys currently watching are actually subscribed to my channel, so make sure to smash that subscribe button for instant updates about videos that I release and other announcements, and also smash that like button to help my channel out. Enjoy the video! Yo, what is up guys? It is Smool here back with another Epic 7 YouTube video today for you guys. And today I'm going to be talking about what you guys should be buying from the Hell Raid store, the normal raid store, and what you should be spending your ancient coins on. Now, if you guys didn't know, you actually can enter a different form of labyrinth. If you scroll to the bottom here, you'll see as Macalus. And you'll see that it is labeled as raid. And basically, this is an area to get pretty decent gear. So you get a lot of 88 gear from drops and hell difficulty. And you even get to buy stuff from the store that actually has pretty good gear for even late game players. Normal raid has okay gear for like mid game, early game players, um, but you won't really use the gear here. I'll go over in depth what you actually want to be farming from normal raid once I cover it. Um, and also, I've got, of course, you guys know the ancient coin shop um, as you're doing labyrinth and as you're doing adventures path as well. You should be getting a lot of ancient coins and you guys are probably wondering what the heck should you buy. So starting with the ancient coin store because we're already here. So I'm going to suggest new players actually to buy some malicious bug charms. So you'll see I have 13 of these saved up. Um, basically, these are going to be used to enter Hell Raid. So Normal Raid will use two Labyrinth Compasses per um, completion, and Hell Raid will take one of these Malicious Bug Charms. <clears throat> now, the only way you can get Malicious Bug Charms, guys, is going to be from this Ancient Coin store and from killing Normal Queen. And there's actually one more area where if you click the Normal tab and you scroll down, you can trade in three Compasses for one Bug Charm. Now, this area is actually the best way to buy your Bug Charms, um, especially if you're like playing every day. And log in daily into your you know dailies and weeklies religiously just because if you think about it so you kill normal queen to get the um, malicious bug charm or the entry ticket for hell rain and you can kill normal queen four times a month right because you kill it once a week there's four um, weeks in a month and that equals four bosses for hell raid basically so you're missing the last boss the fifth boss and the way you get it is from using your excess compasses that's um stack up at the end of the week and just one of the four weeks, you just need to buy one of these and you'll be set. And that way you don't have to spend ancient coins on these malicious bug charms at all. But I still recommend buying at least like three or four of these in case you, you know, end up skipping a few days where you won't be able to buy the normal shop malicious bug charm. So make sure you have like three or four of these saved up. Um, I went for 13 because uh, I don't know why actually. I've had this forever <laughs> since I started my account. So I have just 13 randomly. But make sure you have at least like a few saved up in case you do end up missing, up, um, missing some days because Hell Raid is like a very, very high priority, um, especially for mid game players, for what to do every month because the loot you get will be very, very good into late game, even very late game as well. Now, if you don't need any more malicious bug charms, guys, I highly recommend buying these charms. So, if you guys didn't know, the lesser and greaters actually share, um, basically, it, they're both similarly efficient. So, you'll see that the lesser charms are 40 and the greaters are 120. Um, so that's three times the cost for graders, but these also give three times the EXP. So there's no real downside to buying just lessers and um, not buying the graders. It's really up to you. I just buy the graders because I'm lazy. Um, also, oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, there's some loud ass construction right outside my apartment. But as I was saying, um, there's no real disadvantage to buying the lesser or graders. Um, honestly, the lessers are probably better, but I just buy the graders because I'm lazy. And I just want to, you know, slam charms as much as I can because right side gear I do end up plus 15 more often than left side. And you really want to skip this accessory chest. Very, very useless. Um, you're not going to use anything under like level 85, honestly, once you're at the point where you can do Hell Raid. So, yeah, it's only going up to 60. They need to like revamp this and remove this and make this, uh, I guess, like a level 85 chance to drop, you know? Even though it's a low chance, it'd be a nice change. So, yeah, just focus on the charms, guys, and um, malicious bug charm if you. Um, don't have a lot saved up, so you have that extra charm in case you miss out on this normal exchange because you miss a day or two of doing your um, dailies and weeklies, which is fine. Happens sometimes. Now to get into the raid shops, guys. So this one is, um, these are a lot more complicated than the ancient coin shop. Uh, let me start with the normal raid one. So normal raid, usually a lot of early game players end up buying the gear here. Uh, but I actually don't really suggest buying the gear because you're not going to really use this gear ever. So if you look at the gear, right, the only one that you maybe use is the immunity sword because you don't have immunity pieces. But I wouldn't even recommend this because um, the level is just too low in, 
in my opinion. Um, you're better off just um, spending this on these charms here or this queen's gift. So everything else, the catalysts are not worth it, guys. Even the epics are not worth. Don't buy it. Uh, in my opinion, the gear is not that great either. It used to be pretty good, but now with how easy it is to get into Wyvern and reforging is out, there's no real point to ever use these anymore. You may want to consider the immunity sword, I guess, if you really want immunity pieces, but I don't really, really think you need to buy this because immunity is for PvP, and you're not going to really focus on PvP for a while. So that leaves these charms. So in my opinion, I think for mid-game and late-game players, um, the epic artifact charm is the best. Um, even for early game players maybe, but early game players might want to um, consider the Queen Azumashik's gift because you get extra chance at bookmarks and sky stones, right? Stuff that you really need as an early game player, but I personally like the epic artifact charms. I know it's pretty split between the artifact charms and the, and the gift. Um, just because the artifact charms in Epic 7 are very, very hard to get, the best source of artifact charms is going to be from guild, and that's like kind of time gated because you can only farm a certain amount of guild currency every day. So I personally like the Artifact Charms, guys. Um, it's up to you between whether you want to gamble or you want the safe Artifact Charms, but I personally do believe the Artifact Charms are the best, and you're basically only going to want to buy these. Now that's pretty much it for the normal raid store, and let's hop into the Hell Raid store. So you're actually going to notice that these stores are actually pretty similar in how they look and what they sell, um, but the main difference is going to be the level of the gear, and you'll see the sword here is speed set now, and the chest is immunity. So they flip-flopped. Um, in the normal raid store, it's immunity sword and then um, speed chest, but you'll see here it's switched. Also, it's 88, so you'll see the subs are way higher. Um, raid gear is really nice because even though it's level 88, it's basically 90 because the base stats are reforged gear, like level 90 gear, and it will roll like reforged gear. So just consider this basically level 90 gear. Um, this is always going to be pretty well rolled um, no matter what. And I think for early game players, I think you're going to want to buy like maybe one or two of these speed swords just to get your PvE teams online and help your PvE teams. And then after that, you're actually going to want to start buying the immunity chests. Everything else I would not consider. I know how tempting these catalysts are. Do not buy it. Artifact charms, necklaces, and rings, you don't buy them here ever. Um, you can buy those from the normal store. Um, and in the normal store, you don't really want to buy the necklace or ring charms because those are pretty easy to farm compared to artifact charms so in Hellray that'll leave the equipment and honestly like they're all like pretty decent um, but I think for early game players you might want one or two of these or you know if you have a lot of good speed weapons you can skip this all together and just go straight for the immunity chests immunity chests are in my opinion the best item you can purchase here and I think a lot of people will agree because you'll end up using this into late game and actually if you think about it early and mid game players really struggle with getting immunity gear which is very very crucial for good PvE for PvP teams sorry um, very important for PvP, um, Arena, Guild Wars, right? Especially for defense. And if you don't have a source of immunity, you're just going to get steamrolled once you hit like gold or master tier in Arena. So you really want to make sure you prioritize this free immunity chest you can get from Hell Raid because this chest is amazing. Um, it'll always roll really nice. And it's just a really easy way to get immunity gear for early game and mid game players. Um, even late game players, it's very, very good. Even if you farm Asmanak, it's just, you know, good to buy this because. Um, Honestly, immunity sets are a pain to farm for because immunity sets, the only good set from Asmanac for PvP, and there's three sets that can drop. Uh, let me show some examples of how my Hell Raid chest actually rolled. So you'll see I have like a million of these, um, but like this is like pretty decent, 20% crit. So you like, I'm just going to go over all of them actually very, very quickly. And you can just see like these roll pretty well, right? Like I think if you guys that are in early and mid game compare this chest that I'm showing you um, that I've rolled a million times, um, compared to your like average gear, you'll notice that it is a lot better. Like this piece is amazing for like a tank or bruiser, right? Especially for PvP, right? So you really want to start farming that raid. This is why I recommend getting into raid ASAP, mostly because of this immunity chest, right? And even the speed swords are really nice. Like I have some speed swords from early game, I think that I bought a long time ago. So yeah, you'll see I bought two, right? And these are pretty decent as well for like bruisers, right? And I'm using PvE all the time, and I slot these in for you know just bruisers in PvP as well. Um, but yeah, these pieces are very, very nice to have. And don't forget that the bosses also drop a piece. And the first time you kill the boss, guys, you get a um, you get a piece that's always going to be the same for everyone. It's only a first time thing, though. After that, you'll start getting random pieces. But the first time piece is, is really, really nice from Hell Raid as well. So yeah, make sure you guys do your raid, guys, and your labyrinth. You really want to start taking advantage of these shops, especially the Hell Raid shop, guys. Very, very nice gear. Um, normal shop, very, very nice for artifact charms. 
and ancient coin shop very very nice for ring charms necklace charms and make sure you're stocking up on those hell raid entry tickets those malicious bug charms and you have some extra to spare in case you miss out on that daily and you can't buy the malicious bug charm from the normal area over here right and if you do find yourself you have your normal queen done for the week and you have three um, of these compasses um, make sure you buy this asap right so i should probably buy this as well um actually i think it just reset right normal rate just reset so i have to wait but yeah you know what i'm talking about make sure you're buying those charms you want to get five every month you get four from you know killing queen four times every month um, normal queen and then you get um the extra one from how i said before um, hell raid will reset every month though so yeah if you're nearing the end of the month um, you should try to race to get as many hell raid bosses as you can remember raid is not a race guys you don't have to kill all the bosses at the start um honestly it'll take a while before you can start killing the queen um, just make sure you can kill as many bosses as you can and start stacking that currency a lot of people will get stuck at around like three or four bosses and it's normal and it's perfectly fine um, you just have to farm more gear and get more units and make more um you know unit six starred and make more team comps right so yeah don't worry about it too much you'll get there eventually um that's pretty much it for my hell raid normal raid ancient coin shop guide um i really hope this video helps you out and if it help it does help you out um leave a like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys next video peace